Sticking with the Florin, we have Searing Blight playing Nuru. And we've got some uh, 1.3 meta right here because Spotius is now playing Tenry. So I'm very curious to see how this is going to play out. Tenry and Nuru, both very explosive commanders. Both have very good options for just ending games really quickly. And this is a map where you can drop a knight and knight crit their stronghold or throw a dragon at it or even do something like throw golems at them. They're both going very aggressive on this opening, both keeping their commanders on the strong side. Sending them over. Ooh, big Nuru heal. And that's coming in just in time. That will it should be able to decap that village. And Tenry will also be able to do the same thing. Glyph Sword could come up. Ooh, no. Tenry is going to hit the village first. And this is potentially more groove overall. Is what you can do here. Hit the village once. Build groove. Decap the village. So on this side it would be hitting it from here. And then you go for this village next. Even if there was a roll, it's not actually that bad if you don't get it, because like, sure, your commander takes a bit of damage, but... Yeah, like you... Overall, you build more groove by, you know, not getting it. No sword's coming up. I guess, like, he doesn't really mind if, uh, that village capture comes a little bit later. What is with the golem to defend? Really heavy defense units, yeah, just gets a knight and a golem. And you really want your big heavy hitter units on this side, like you've got less of them, so. Yeah, you're gonna wanna keep them over here. Golem coming out from Searing Blight as well. So, how is this gonna go? Are we gonna see Henry gets the heal? All right, so she isn't gonna decap here. Potentially could have, that would put her very close to having Groove, but she can also run up and hit this village instead. Oh, Golem sees an opportunity to hit something for kind of free. And yeah, just goes for a bunch of village captures. And realizes that Nuru has Groove. Ooh, Nuru's just going to pull back. I don't think she wants to challenge a Golem and a Knight. And while Searing Blight... Alright, so it takes, does take a few turns for this extra production to kind of kick in. This is where the strong side, weak side comes in. Ooh, that dog could have hit New Henry for an extra bit of damage, but there's double golem here now. And the funny thing is, because Tenry can only, she can only grab units, she can't like kill them or anything. So she needs the stuff to follow up for that, to kill them. So really she wants a dragon close by to like this side or to be able to grab one of these golems and throw them up here. Here we go, the dragon's available. Henry is going to be getting ready to snatch a golem and throw it to the dragon to kill. Nuru has the option to build, a, not really a witch, but she could build a mage and throw it at the dragon. So a lot of care needs to happen on the side of Henry here. Alright, the golem is just going to kind of walk up. There's nothing to challenge a golem up here. As opposed to down here, where Henry's slowly going to build Groove. Alright, ooh, big knight crit comes in, but puts that into crit range. Oh, we're going to see another knight crit come in? Alright, that doesn't put it into crit, so... Nice surround on these golems, but they are pretty deadly. How's this going to play out? Right, takes down one of the dogs and the knight. Ooh, and this side switch is huge. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Because I think that's a knight crit that can come in. And from up, from the north of the map, showing that Nuru is not to be trifled with. Searing Blight takes game two.
I really well played the Searing Blight. Nuru is so scary. A lot of people will say, Nuru, oh, she's not top tier anymore. Oh, you know, like, like the two times gold and being medium, this is like too much of a nerf. He can still throw knights at you from 10 tiles away. And it will kill. So yeah, she is utterly terrifying in certain circumstances. If Nuru has Groove Up, you have to respect it. So yeah, really well played by Searing Blight, showing the strength of Nuru. And was actually playing really well in general, so yeah, nicely done.